So good. Mmm. Stuck in my teeth. Nice flavor saver. Hey guys, I'm here with another Try the World box. I'm super duper excited. I've been loving these boxes. I'm telling you, they're amazing. So again, they always have this outer package that you can use. Um, and the inside of the box just has like this, um, uh, what do you call it? This pattern on the inside and you can turn it inside out. I showed that in the other videos. And here is this month's box. They always have the best boxes. Um, excuse the thunder in the background, but it's getting ready to storm here. So this one, oh, it's in Japan. How exciting. Okay, so they always have this little culture guide here. And inside the culture guide, it tells you a little bit about um, what country that you're going to be trying out. Um, this one says how to use your box. Um, so it says something about a, a Japanese tea ceremony. Um, how to host the ceremony. Um, it talks about a little bit about that, some flowers. There's different things about their culture that um, they tell you about. So these are the some recipes. Always they have a recipe in there. Something about a music, some music, um, poems, different things like that. And I really, really like that. So um, I can smell the tea in here just through this packet. So, oh my gosh, what is that? That looks awesome. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but um, we'll get into the box and see everything that's in here. So here we go. Let's take off the cover and they have the card here. The card, I'll be referring to it. And you definitely need the card for these boxes because half the time I don't know what I'm looking at or what they're for or how to use it. So um, the first thing on the top here is this matcha blueberry. Um, this is for hot tea. Add eight ounces of hot or iced tea water to one tablespoon of this matcha blueberry tea. So that's pretty cool. Oh, these, I love these. These are, it doesn't say on here. Let me read the packaging. I mean, it does say it, but it's in Japanese and I don't read it. So um, let's see, these are Takayokaya seaweed snacks. <laughs> Did you like the way that I said that? Whatever. Okay, to make this premium seaweed snack an all natural and natural health food, um, Takai, Taka o Kayara, Kaya, I don't know, gosh, whatever. Um, harvests wild seaweed from the ocean and dries it by the following, by following an ancient process similar to paper making. Enjoy it straight from the bag or crumbled over rice dishes. Um, we actually like this in our house. So, um, seaweed is just like a nice little treat and this can go in like milliseconds in here. So I'm excited to have it. Um. I have to hide it from my son for now until I finish doing everything because he'll just gobble these up. Um, I'm guessing that these are candies. It says Moringa's Milk Caramel right here on the side. So it just looks like this. These butterscotch-like sweets are a nostalgic reminder of childhood for those born in the 40s and 50s. So interesting. Hmm. I have to open this up and see what it's all about. Okay, so they kind of um, slide out a little bit. Oh, okay. There's like these little tiny squares. Shall we try it? We shall. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'm just gonna take a piece. Mmm. Yum. Okay, I only took like a little tiny piece because these are super dense and super yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I have to pause and finish this off. Sorry, be back. All right, next we have, these are noodles. What kind of noodles? Buckwheat noodle, it says. Yamiya, yama imo, yama imo soba. They're made with yam extract and buckwheat and are buckwheat. I can't speak. Buckwheat and are flexible, soft and nutty. These traditional noodles from Hokkaido, Aido Island in northern Japan are typically served in hot broth or as a cold salad dressing with panzu sauce. Hmm. 
wonder if ponzu sauce is in the box interesting okay there's some sauce here what is this vinegar oh yes it's ponzu sauce nice so it says this sweet salty and tangy sauce made with citrus and soy sauce is traditionally served as a dressing over grilled meat and fish or as a dip for sashimi to use it as a salad dressing whisk it into oil and thicken and toss with cold noodles awesome i want to smell it mm, it smells good it smells kind of strange Mmm. Wow. That's good. That's really good. I think they have this with some as a dipping sauce and for I can't remember what, but we eat sushi all the time. I didn't know that's what I was using, but that's good. Okay, next is a candy. I already know offhand. I already know what this is and I personally I don't like it, but I know people that do. This is lychee gummy candy. And um, I actually sent this in a swap to Freebie Ninja, and he really liked it. So it just says that it's made with fruit juice. All right, last thing in the box is this here. Um, it says recipe included is in four languages. Okay, they look like little pancakes or something that you're supposed to have in here. So you use cabbage, some kind of meat, some scallions, eggs, water, and some kind of a sauce. Um, I don't know what this is. A popular dish throughout Japan. Um, it's an omelet-like omelet pancake made of a variety of savory toppings. This kit and recipe enclosed in your booklet provide the basic ingredients needed to make your own. Cool. Um, it says that the recipe, maybe the recipes are inside. I mean, they have pictures of what you're supposed to do. Like you mix this together and you mix this together. I don't know. I'm excited to try it. No, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm super excited to try this. I love experimenting with Asian food, Japanese, Chinese, any kind of Asian foods. I'm just a lover in it. Um, that just looks really delicious. Take a quick look at that picture. Look at it dripping on the side. Yes. Yes, yes. So try the world. You guys need to try the World Box. I'm telling you, I have not been disappointed. Last month, I used some of the seasonings after I did the unboxing, and oh my goodness, the seasonings that were in there to use to cook, awesome, awesome. So I'm excited to try this one out. This box is really awesome. So here is everything that I got in the box, jam-packed full of stuff in here. Um, all the information to try the world will be down below. I have yet to be disappointed. I hope these keep on coming. I'm so excited and I can't wait to experiment and try out all of this different food that I've yet to try before. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you try the world for sending me over the box and I will see you again in another video. Bye!